The pre-conventional stage is the first stage of Kohlberg's model of moral development, and the morality of an action is defined by the direct consequences on the self in an egocentric manner. It's important to remember the differences between the pre-conventional, conventional, and post-conventional stages of morality. So in this visual mnemonic, I'll orient you to everything you need to know about pre-conventional morality so you can crush it on test day. Now, before we dive in, let's quickly review Kohlberg's theory of moral development. Lawrence Kohlberg proposed that moral development in people progresses through three levels. In order, these levels are pre-conventional, conventional, and post-conventional morality. In general, people progress through these stages as they get older. Another generalization to note is that as we advance through the stages, our moral compass evolves from relying on external cues like punishment towards internal principles like justice. Now that we've set the groundwork for Kohlberg, let's dive into this scene on pre-conventional morality. For this mnemonic, a mother and her daughter are spending some quality time together baking cookies. See the Easy Bake Oven? It seems that this oven is still preheating, not quite ready for the cookie dough just yet. However, the word preheating should help you remember the pre-conventional stage. Preheating for pre-conventional. Get it? Preheating sounds like pre-conventional, so that should help anchor this connection. To help you remember that the pre-conventional stage refers to moral development, notice how this girl is doing something immoral. Yep, she's doing what every young kid has done before, stealing cookie dough. This immoral act should remind you that the pre-conventional stage is part of moral development. Next, notice the girl's age. Just by looking at her, you can tell she is still quite young. That's fitting, since she still has an easy bake oven. Because she's a young child, that should help you remember that the pre-conventional stage is typically seen in young children. Not always, but usually. Kohlberg did not assign strict ages to his moral stages, as some people never advance past the early stages. However, you'd be right to assume that most people in the pre-conventional stage are children. Got that? All right, let's take a look to see how much cookie dough is left for baking. Oh no, it seems the cookie dough is all gone. The girl didn't save any to bake and share with her mom. In typical kid fashion, she selfishly ate it all herself. This selfish action represents the self-interest that motivates people in the pre-conventional stage of moral development. In this stage, people are motivated by a selfish cost-benefit analysis. They have yet to internalize socially constructed concepts of right and wrong. So here, the girl must have thought the benefits of eating all the dough outweighed the costs for herself. Ah, but she forgot about the wrath of mom. As you can see, her mom is not happy that she ate all the cookie dough. The mother scolding her child is a form of punishment. This should help us remember another key factor in pre-conventional morality, obedience and punishment. In this stage, morals are defined by a desire to avoid punishment. This girl was scolded by her mom for stealing the cookie dough, and this punishment will motivate her not to steal cookie dough in the future. Note that this is not because she thinks that stealing without sharing is wrong, but rather because she's simply trying to avoid punishment. Again, just remember this picture to peg obedience and punishment to the pre-conventional stage of moral development. All right, let's summarize what we've learned. The pre-conventional stage is the first stage in Kohlberg's model of moral development. In this stage, morality is governed by self-interest, and people use a selfish cost-benefit analysis to judge the morality of their actions. They seek rewards and obey social rules only to avoid punishment. This stage is usually seen in young children, but older individuals can be in this stage as well. Ah, the oven is finally done preheating. Too bad there isn't any cookie dough left to bake. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.